Sami people are the indigenous Fina Uhrik people who occur way north of the Arctic Circle. Sami occur on a wide scale geographic range. However, their common land has today been divided into countries known as Norway, Finland, Sweden and northwestern Russia. This region is known to be called the Arctic Area of Sápmi. Traditionally, the Sami have followed a range of livelihoods including coastal fishing, fur trapping and sheep herding. The best known means of livelihood is the semi-nomadic reindeer herding, where the reindeer goes, the Sami follows. The reindeer is the central aspect of survival for Sami people. Long before documented history, the Samis developed a virtual symbiotic relationship with the reindeers. During the long winter months, food can get scarce. The Samis therefore always made the maximum use of the reindeers as both a transport animal and food resource. The intestines provided the Samis with vitamins that would have been impossible to obtain in other ways for the largest part of the year. Currently, about 10% of the Sami are connected to reindeer herding and only 2,800 are actively involved in herding on a full-time basis. According to mythology, a reindeer was used to create land. From its fur, old trees, bushes and grass was created, while from its blood veins, all water sources such as rivers and streams were formed. Samis live in cone-shaped tents made of fabric and animal skins. Land loss, land ownership, relocation by force and no religious freedom is leading to the total destruction of Sami traditional culture. The biggest problem for Sami people are the privatization of land. Reindeers require large roaming regions when moving between winter and summer food patches. Private landowners refuse the reindeers and the Sami people to cross the new territory. When questioned a local Sami, this was all he had to say. We occurred on this land for many centuries and always, always had access. Now, all of a sudden, we are being refused. Our reindeers really need to move. They will starve as they rely on different patches of food for survival. All we require are grazing lands. On the other hand, a private landowner commented that the reindeers just eat the crops, they break the fences, crush the trees, which eventually causes the trees to die. They won't allow them there, not in any way. All they cost are thousand dollars of damage. Upon hearing this, the herder replied, that for many years they had occurred on this land. If any of these accusations were true, wouldn't there be no land left? Wouldn't there be no trees growing and no plants and infertile soil? The accusations just doesn't make sense. The fight eventually ended up at Parliament. All the farmers then wanted were compensation for damages caused by trespassing reindeers and Sami. The Sami people seek the government's help with compensation but were refused. Sami's only hope lied in the UN ILO Convention 169. This specifically guarantees the rights of indigenous people to land. A prominent point was in fact Article 14 which states that all passing nations must identify that all indigenous populations have ownership rights to land. The Norwegian government recognizes the Sami as an ethnic minority and as separate people at the same time. Norway is the only nation with an indigenous Sami population who follows both the UN Decla Declaration of Indigenous People and the Human Rights Declaration. The development of culture was officially acknowledged. Since then, the Sami language has been taught in schools and several Sami institutions and museums have even been created. In some other countries, Samis have full citizenship and land is now compensated. Sweden, however, still refuses to sign. Indigenous people are an important aspect of humanity. They require invaluable knowledge about the planet ecosystems and how they work. In conclusion, it is felt that the Sami people should be compensated for land rights. Nordic countries have definitely stepped in the right direction.